make a video today on Creator Mall, going more in depth. I know the last video was a really, really quick overview, so I might as well do a more professional one, let's say. Um, so the game overall is for small creators or big creators, anyone can join it. Um, they set up a little shop, they add their clothing, and then people can walk around and buy it. Um, it's made by Grotesque, it's a very good game. There's some game passes you can get, which I'll obviously talk about. Um, yeah, it's, it's a good place. So, uh, when you first join, you will find people already having their shops and everything, you know. Um, you want to look for one that says empty on it, and then you just click on the bow. And then, since I already made a shop, it, mine's obviously just going to load in. Um, so, once you claim the shop, the doors are going to be closed and it's going to look default like this. Um, Alright. So then you want to go over here to uh, the left side of your screen. You're going to see this little uh, um, panel. And then you're going to click the little shop icon that says remodel shop. Um, so here's where the game passes come in. So for shop and skin colors, there's these default ones, which aren't um, in the gray area. Uh, so there's the white, uh, pink, and the blue. And then since I have the game pass, I can select more. I usually do this one because I like the look of it. And then skin color, if you can see through the window, there's the white, the uh, beige, and the brown. Um, and then there's other ones like blue, etc. Um, and those require game pass as well. Uh, decorations also require a game pass. I usually do the plant lover just because I love plants. Um, and then shop music, I don't believe there's a game pass for it. Actually, there is. Uh, so I also have the game pass. I usually choose Thunder, but I'm not going to turn it on for the video. Um, so to open your shop doors, you want to press the little red bubble right at the shop door symbol. Um, I'm going to close it just so no one comes in behind me. Um, and then you can also have a second floor. I had the game pass for it, but it's an extra, let's see, 45 Robux. So not too bad. Um, if you really want to get your clothing sold, I highly recommend investing in um, either the decorations or the second floor, uh, just because it's a really good way to get yourself out there. Uh, so if I open up my second floor, you can see that you have a whole nother floor. There's some decorations up here. You have, let's see, two, four, six, eight, about 11 people in there. So what you want to do, um, I have all my favorite designs in the bottom. You, I, you can put your top selling ones, you know, whatever you want to do, it's your shop. Um, so each mannequin, you set it up the same. You click on it, and then on the side of your screen, you will see this little thing come up. Uh, the shirt ID, you just click in it, you copy and paste the shirt ID that you want. Same with the pants, and then you just press go. And then this will disappear for you. Um, and then your outfit will show up on the mannequin. And then this little uh, screen thing always comes up at the like in the back or on the front, depending on where it is. I usually just X out of that so no one has to see it. Um, so you just repeat that process for everything. Uh, you know, each each mannequin has each of their own clothes. Same with up here, it's the same process. Um, so if someone wants to buy something, you just have to click on it. Here, let me let me go to someone else's shop. That's one thing you can't buy uh, things from your own shop. So let's just go down here to this one. Uh, so you want to just click on their item. Okay, they just left. I'm stuck in here. <laughs> All right, let's try this one down here. So you just want to click on the item and then um, you'll hear like a little sound and then if you click your shopping cart you'll see the items pop up right here. If you want to try them on you can just click them and then and they show up on your character. Yeah, I know they look amazing. Um, and then if you want to check out you just click right here on the register and then you can just press buy. And then it will be added to your inventory and um, whenever you want to buy new clothing you just want to X these out and then you can get out of that as well. Um, and then there's two floors of uh, shops. The main one, which is my favorite one, is the top floor, mainly because this is where mostly everybody spawns, so you have more traffic in this one. Um, if you jump down or take the stairs, there's a beach down here with some chill spots, and then there's more shops down here in case the ones up top are taken. And you never have to worry about all the shots being taken because there's enough for everybody that joins the game. So if I go back upstairs, Let's see here. 
uh, you can see other people, for example, this is what your shop is going to look like when you first open it and there's no actual clothes in it, um, which nothing wrong with that. You know, it takes time to, to get everything how you want it. Um, so it's the same idea. You just click on it and uh, input your shirt IDs. And honestly, this is a really good way to get started, especially if you're really small, just because um, it's it gives you traffic and you don't need to have like your own game and everything like that, just because that's a lot of work and there's not always going to be a steady player flow. In my experience, this game usually has about 100, 130 people in it at a time, sometimes less, sometimes more, but there's always people in it. And you can see that there's many different servers that you can join if you want to. And you can always server hop if people aren't interested in your clothes. And then this is honestly, it's one of the best ways to get sales when you're just beginning because it's not that much work. And once you do it, once it's saved and you just join and claim a shop and boom, everything's back there. Um, yeah, so I think that's a really good idea, um, especially if you're just starting out or even if you're a, a big designer, it's just a nice way to get a little extra sales here and there and, you know, maybe make some friends, find some designer, uh, like co-designers if you want to help with someone else's group or something like that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for Creator Mall. Um, like I said, it's by Grotesque. I'll put the link in the description. Um, and then I'm going to make a video on tags and advertising eventually, um, just because those are another two great ways to actually start doing things. Um, so yeah, expect that video to come up within maybe a month or two. Uh, hard right now with school and everything, but yeah. Well, thank you for watching. See ya.